Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and we're going to do a range comparison with two very fine full-size handguns. Here we have the Sig Sauer P226 ASC Alloy Stainless Elite with a 4.4 inch barrel versus the CZ75 SP01 all steel model. The frame is all steel and this has a 4.6 inch barrel. Both full-size and not a great difference with the barrel length only 0.2 inches longer with the cz many people on this channel love the cz handguns actually with my handgun showdown series i've been running cz is yet to lose any of those but let's start with this p226 asc beautiful handgun it is uh, currently with an 18 round magazine standard comes with a 15 round magazine with a flat uh, Base plate right there sits flush with the the grip rosewood grips walnut All right, it does have a, a uh, Aluminum frame that is PVD coated stainless slide Sig light night sights Excellent trigger pull a single action it is very nice. It does have that SRT short reset trigger uh, already mentioned 4.4 inches now the the p226 models are amazing there are so many different variations of them and when i showed this this is a Taylor edition and when i show this people say wow that thing is really something and it is but what's also interesting is that when this came out it was around 900 dollars like that's what i paid for it now it's selling for 1200 1300 Part of that is because firearms are hard to come by. Also, this is, I didn't even know this, but it's become pretty much a rare model. And I'm so happy to have it. It's a beautiful handgun. And I love shooting it. And I love showing it off. But let's go ahead and take a few shots here. I don't have 18 loaded up, but I've got enough. All right, love the P226 line, and I love this Taylor edition ASC alloy stainless elite. Does have the decocker on there, very consistent with SIG handguns. But a crowd favorite on this channel, anyways, are the CZs, and this is the SP01 all steel frame. Now, I also have the Phantom with the polymer frame. And they have the same upper. They will work with each other. But this is the all steel frame. It does have the rubber grips. 19 round magazines. The MSRP on this is now 829. And that actually increased throughout the years. And I always said I was going to get G10 grips on there. I never did. They're still rubber. But it does have the full pick rail. Much, much like the SIG. 4.6 inch barrel. Also night sights. This here has the thumb safety. Okay, carry cocked and locked. Also has the ability to move the hammer, not there, right there, into quarter cock position, which would be a good way to carry it, or cocked and locked, whatever, you know. But it's a CZ, it runs great, it has been excellent for me. It's a good looking handgun. I don't know if it's as sharp as the P226 I just showed, but it shoots just as well. Amazing handgun. And every time I show this one as well, people say that thing is awesome. And quite honestly, it is. Let's see how I do it. All right. So here we have two fine handguns. We've got the CZ75 SP01 and the SIG P226 ASC. Which one would you choose? Well, let me give you my thoughts. First off, both these are mine, so I really don't have a bias, but I love the SIG. I love this CZ. I think they're both great, but if I had to choose one of these, I'm going with the P226 ASC. 
I love everything about it. Now, I will mention, if this was a Shadow 2, which I've shot before, I never owned one, but if this was a Shadow 2, I would choose the CZ. But in this comparison, I'm going with the SIG. My question for you, which one would you choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.